Jason. I'm Ben, and behind me here is Spooky the Ghost. The main character of our broadcast. <laughs> that he is. This week we took a trip to Mexico. Woo! <laughs> where we watched the movie Shirzo Diabolico. <laughs> or translated means Tricky Devil. <laughs> tricky Devil Bag. <laughs> <laughs> or translated it means Tricky <laughs> Or translated, it means tricky devil. <laughs> it stars Francisco Barrero. Barrero? Barro? Is that like Ferrero Rocher? Uh, Daniela Sotovale. Jorge Molina. I had a 1970 Jorge Molina. <laughs> Milena Pezzi and Vita Vargas as the starring cast. Okay. So. <laughs> Dive right into it. <laughs> the movie was pretty good. It was a comedy horror thriller. Now, I didn't find no comedic value in this movie, but what I did find was something diabolical. <laughs> wow. That's true. <laughs> um, but for a Mexican film, it was very well done. I think the budget mm -hmm. was um, way more than you would think, like for even a Hollywood film. Yeah, I think the cinematography and all that was really well done. Um, a lot of city streets in the movie. Uh, when the guy, <laughs> we didn't even give us. <laughs> you gotta talk about it. <laughs> okay, so you want to tell what it's about, or when we look at each other and then go back? Yeah. Basically, a guy kidnaps a girl. An accountant. An accountant, <laughs> <laughs> an accountant kidnaps his boss's daughter and eventually lets her go after psychologically and physically torturing her. <laughs> well, he doesn't get a promotion, so he wants to punish the boss. And he kidnaps <laughs> the <laughs> Sounds like we're trying to come up with the story. <laughs> We are. <laughs> uh, why don't you just read off the paper? Because, like, as we're talking to him. You gotta give the synopsis. Or you do the synopsis. Okay, I'll do the synopsis. Alright, all right. and we look at each other. And we move. Shirzo Diabolico. So, basically, the overall synopsis is an accountant... Uh, doesn't get the promotion that he's seeking, so he decides to kidnap and torture his boss's daughter, um, and then epic things start to happen when she realizes what is going on. Um, so it's kind of a play, I think, on the American version of Taken, except uh, this one, the girl um, <coughs> ends up doing the diabolical stuff in the end, like that you wouldn't Mm -hmm. You know, see that was coming. So there is a spoiler in this one, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler alert! <laughs> You'll have to put that up at the bottom. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Pepsi. So. It doesn't play out like a hostile film where it is graphic torture scenes or torture porn, as they call it. What it plays out as is a little more, there is physical, but it's a little more psychological. Yeah, it is. And it's a little more psychological when he does to her um, with the music, with um, playing with her. He just gives her just enough food and drink to keep her alive. Um, and then he lets her go. You're not expecting that uh, for him just to let her go. Right. But after he does that, that becomes the mistake that he makes. Yeah. Because she has now cuckoo. Yeah. She's plum loco. And and one of the things that is her trigger um, is he keeps playing um, classical music throughout. And the one song that she hears early on, she is kidnapped and thrown into the trunk of his car. And she hears um, the Mozart Turkish Turkish March playing. So every time in the future, and once she's released, mm -hmm. she hears that song, 
she goes into this um, devil or diabolical state where mm-hmm. she wants to seek revenge on him yeah. and and really torture and, and pay him back for what he has done to him. But there's not really that many. There's there's a couple of scenes where it shows um, breasts, but there's no. It's not like a. It's not like a um, sexual or a, a um, like a hostile like you were mm-hmm. saying movie. Um, so I think the the cinematography was very well done yeah. for it being a, a and, foreign and film. And it surprised me, and not to stereotype here, but I always thought Mexico was kind of flat and deserty, except for maybe down south. But it looked just like here. Uh, the scenes were the, the establishing shots mm-hmm. and like the intro as he's driving around. Looks like the mountains of where we are. And uh, one thing about it is that she just... He just tries to torture her, but when she goes on her revenge spree, right. queued up by the Turkish march, she just doesn't hurt him. It's everyone yeah. that she... Her parents. Yeah. I mean, everybody that she encounters, when that song is played, um, it, it's just like it's a rampage. So I, I do think that it's kind of a, a play on the <coughs> taken um, to, to some aspect, but... Overall, I, I mean, the, the movie was phenomenal. Now, it is, the entire movie is in Spanish, uh, but it does have subtitles, so... Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, you've watched plenty of foreign films with me, yeah. and I don't mind a bit to have subtitles, and I think, you know, we've watched movies from Nigeria, we've watched movies from Bollywood and Japan and China, and I really like to add this one to be my first one from Mexico. And, uh, I mean, it was a really, I wouldn't say fun film, but it was pretty good. I mean, well, I was really surprised. You know, both of us are fans of horror movies, mm-hmm. and I think this checked the box of typically what, I mean, I'm more of a psychological thriller. I'm not really into seeing people, <laughs> like, um, you, you know, chopped up or cut up or whatever, you mm-hmm. know. Um, so, that really... This movie really, um, you know, was was I, I really enjoyed watching. And I will check out the director's other work. I will look because I've seen where he did most. Um, Who was the director? Horror stuff like horror oriented. Adrian Adrian Garcia Bagliano Bagliano. So possibly um, mm-hmm. again, we apologize for butchering. The names, um, but uh, what can you do? So <laughs> <laughs> learn to pronounce. Them. <laughs> uh, but over, I mean, uh, so we always do the star rating, one to five stars. What do you give it? I would give it a solid four. Yeah, I would too. I think I'd probably do a four and a half because it did have classical music, and and I love classical music. So for them to integrate that into the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, it definitely brought a different aspect to it. Right. So be sure to leave a comment and let us know what you think. Like and subscribe. So until next time, adios, adios amigos. amigos.